Rounding off the show, we catch up with Philip Moran at his art exhibition, Freedom of Speech. Well, I've, I've always been interested in drawing. I've always been, that was always one thing I was really good at. And um, over the years, I've kind of gone in and out of it. Uh, I went to college about 10 years ago, I did art. And then I kind of turned away from it for a few years, and then I came back and I did design in college in Dublin again. But uh, I've, been, I've been constantly working on my, and practicing drawing and painting and I, you know, as I say, I do, I do portraits, it seems to be my, my specialty. I like to draw with ink and I draw a lot with ink and sticks because I try to have as much of an immediate uh, effect as I can. Uh, so a lot of the time I would draw without even drawing pencil drawn beneath. And, uh, uh, so in this style I actually use an ink called Quink Ink, which is a, an ink that was very popular in fountain pens for, for many decades. And when you add water to it, it separates into blue and brown, yellow colours. And so I was using this and I was trying to manipulate it, but it was constantly, it was too messy. So what I discovered then was that if I added a clear oil pastel, sort of a wax, or white pastel, there's a sort of random effect with these drawings. They have a sort of painterly quality, but they also have a sort of a precision, which, I, which is thanks to uh, the wax and the, thanks to the fact that I use sort of sticks and everything rather than brushes. I was feeling that you know, free speech was being something somewhat undermined and eroded and being taken for granted. And I, I wanted to uh, sort of promote, I wanted to promote the idea a bit more and part of that was also because I did admire a lot of these people. I remember reading about them over the years and some of them actually I'd never heard of. So I did a lot of research about it and uh, free speech is the sort of foundation of freedom in our society and uh, there's a lot of people who have fought over the years and uh, theorized and philosophers and artists and they, uh, they fought for the rights, right to free speech that we all take for granted and it seems to me that uh, it's, being, it's just constantly being attacked from within and without.